This is what my end island looks like right now, and in this episode of Hardcore Minecraft, I'm going to be transforming it. So the first step of this episode is to blow up the end. But for me to blow up the end, you're gonna need to blow up that subscribe button. Nah, all jokes aside though, since I'm gonna need to build about 60 TNT flying machines, I'm gonna need a lot of materials. Some of which are slime blocks, so why don't we just... Do you notice any difference? Cause I don't. I'm also gonna need some obsidian, glazed terracotta, trapdoors, TNT, and some redstone components which I'll get in a really quick time lapse. Now, I could be like, oh, that took me forever to get, but in reality, it didn't. All I needed to get was quartz since I already had everything else. Anyways, I now just need some iron to make some minecarts. The one thing I need to get before beginning is some coal fans. Hold on, before we start this, I've got to lower the pillars and break the bedrock. Oh my god, that took me so much longer than I expected. This is exactly how much obsidian I got from that. It's now time to begin building. Hold on, one more thing. Okay, let's go. The way it works is this flying machine pushes that all the way over there which drops TNT and blows off the island. Yeah, I didn't design this. Anyway, let's build 55 more. Okay, here's the first, uh, 10 flying machines finished. If you do the math, then we're about 18% of the way there. Oh, and I laid down a bunch of scaffolding, which will greatly assist me throughout this process. Okay, well, it's time to build some more. And we are now 50% of the way there. Bro, these endermen keep taking my goddamn TNT. I will not let that slide. Anyways, my elytra is getting low on durability and I don't feel like dying in the void today, so I'm gonna go repair it. Oh boy, my first time seeing grass in a long time. In Minecraft, obviously. Much better. Anyways, why don't I just... Boom, there we go. I'm fairly certain there are much easier ways to blow up the end, but you know, I like to go that extra mile. Anyways, let's AFK here overnight, and hopefully the island will be destroyed. Some of these flying machines actually stopped partway through, which should be an easy fix. I can just rebuild the ones that did not work. And finally, after a lot of trial and error, I have finished blowing up the end. As any typical end transforming video goes, I'm gonna kill the ender dragon about 20 times. And luckily for me, I have two end crystals. I mean, look on the bright side, it's a start. Let's first of all blast some gas and steal their tears. I'm gonna have my bow in my offhand because according to a very reliable source called YouTube, I can have the looting effect if I do so. This is taking too long, so let's just go up here and do a bit of this. Now if I sit up here, I should be able to kill gas at a quicker rate. I've now got enough gas tears, so let's head back to base. Just need some glass and eyes of ender. Now time to make the end crystals. I can already see the dragon trembling with fear. <laughs> Let's summon the ender dragon. Yep, the pillars are going to their original heights. The orange aurora and islandless end makes this feel like an actual final boss fight. What the hell bro just sent me to Mars? And ender dragon number one is down. Time to kill 18 more of them. And the final dragon. That should be the last time I have to kill the ender dragon for a while. 
These pillars contain around 90 layers with on average 36 obsidian per layer, which means there is around 32,400 obsidian in total. And it takes around 2 seconds to mine each obsidian block, meaning that 64,800 seconds, which can be converted to 1,080 minutes, which is 18 hours. And I don't know about you, but I'm not spending 18 hours of my life mining obsidian. So I've downloaded Baritone to do it for me. Basically what it does is I say go mine obsidian and it will go mine obsidian. Anyway, let's AFK here using Baritone and hopefully the pillars will be destroyed. Real quickly, before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and move this beacon to the end. Now let's begin. So, uh, Baritone only destroyed part of the pillar, which means I'm gonna have to continuously be starting and stopping it. Oh, and don't worry, I'll be throwing out all of the obsidian I get. And there is one obsidian pillar gone. There are now four pillars left, so why don't I just... And there we go. Okay, well, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is only the start of this project. I'm gonna be building a black hole with planets sort of thing. I don't actually know, so let's just go with the flow. The first thing I'll be building is like a spaceship kind of thing. And I know it's cliche, but ask me if I care. So to build it, I'm gonna need some white dye, black dye, sand, and gravel to make make some concrete. Concrete powder, I should say, which means I'm gonna have to convert it into concrete. And there we go. Oh look, a new pet. Four of them to be precise. Three now. Since I'm so creative and original, I'm gonna name them pet one, two, and three. Enough getting sidetracked, and let's get to building. Here's the outline of the spaceship, so let's replace the dirt with some black concrete. and fill it in with white concrete. Now, if I head into here, walk up on the slime block, flick the lever, press the button, and I'm in the end. This is what the spaceship looks like, filled with endermen. Oh, and just before, I managed to get a trident. So I enchanted it, and slept on some books. But I can't really use it much in this episode, since if I throw it in the void, it's just not gonna come back. Anyways, next up, I want to build a black hole. The first material I'm gonna need is black wool, which I can get by dyeing these sheep. I'm also gonna need some coal for coal blocks. Here's the first two shulker boxes filled with coal. Yo, this terrain is sick. And there we go, that is four and a third shulker boxes full of coal. Let's now begin building the black hole. And the black hole is now finished. The replay only recorded like three quarters of it since I left the game because a goddamn enderman almost killed me. Okay, well now I'm gonna build that orange ring you see around black holes. I think they call it like the photon ring or something. I don't know, but it looks cool. So to build this, I'm gonna need yellow wool, yellow concrete, orange wool, orange concrete, gold blocks, and glowstone. And I know I'm good on the gold blocks from my gold farm. I'm just gonna need lots and lots of red dye and yellow dye. Let's now make some yellow concrete, orange concrete, and some colored wool. And let's just grab some glowstone. And now everything is gathered and ready for building. So cue yet another very epic time lapse. Okay, now tell me this doesn't look sick. The ring kind of looks out of place right now, so I'm gonna add some of this stuff on top of the black hole. 
Oh yeah, that really brought it all together. Anyways, let's now make a ring around here. Now I'm gonna add all 8 classified planets around this black ring. I know it would make more sense to build stars as this orange stuff around it is supposedly spaghettified stars, but listen here mate, it's a block game. The first planet I'm going to be building is Mercury as it is closest to the sun. And if you didn't know already, Mercury is coloured a bit like the moon, so I'm going to be using stone, cobblestone, and andesite to build it. And that is the first planet done. Now, you're probably thinking, but Lucid, why is it so small? Well, that's because Mercury is the smallest planet out of the eight that I'm building. Now, the second planet I'm gonna build is, of course, Venus, which appears white, but the surface of it is brownish orange because it's so hot. So, I'm gonna build it white. I'm gonna be using a block palette of white wool, calcite, and smooth quartz. Since they're so easy to get, I'm not gonna show you me getting them. So, let's get to building. Okay, and here is the second planet done. Now onto the third planet, which is the one and only Earth. Now, building the Earth is going to require many different concretes, but you've seen me make concrete loads of times, so let's just get to building. Now, before you tell me that I suck at geography, once again, it's a block game. The next planet I'm building is Mars, so I'll need some red sand, acacia, and orange wool. Now, if I do something like this, and Mars is now complete. Now, the next planet is Jupiter, which is going to be very hard to do, for one, because it's big, and for two, because it's got a lot of patterns on it. So, let's get all the material... Now, let's start building the base of the planet. As I said earlier, Jupiter has a lot of patterns, so I'm gonna try and replicate that. Okay, that took forever, but I think it looks pretty good. Now that Jupiter is finished, it's time to go on and build Saturn. So to build Saturn, I'm gonna need some birch and endstone. Now it's time to build Saturn. Now, little Timmy, what's Saturn missing? That's right, the ring. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna change the material up. Alright, let's see it. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Now, I've just realized whilst this black hole is really bright and vibrant, these planets are just looking dull, so I'm gonna add some light to them. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, now onto the second last planet, which is Uranus. Uranus is basically just light blue, so I'm gonna be using ice, light blue wool, and light blue concrete. Now, let's head over to what I like to call the Concrete Converter 3000. So, I head into here and spam a bunch of concrete down. Then, I head back down to the bottom and mine it all up. Okay, well now it's time to build Uranus. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I do have to add some lights to it though, so let's just... Oh yeah, that's looking nice. As you can see, we have one more planet left to do, which is Saturn. Wait, Sa... What? Okay, I'm not building Saturn because, well, I already built it, but I'm going to be building Neptune. Neptune's a lot like Uranus, except it's a darker blue. The blocks I'm going to use to build it is lapis, blue concrete, and blue wool. Now, I have everything I need except for the lapis. There we go, now it's time to build the final planet. And there we go, that is the final planet complete. Now that Neptune is done, it's time to build some miniature stars around this place. And there we go. I know this is not very accurate for what would take place in reality, but for the final time, it's a block game.